welcome or welcome back to my channel today we are doing 24 books that i want to read in 2024 and i am excited there are so many good releases coming out this year if you want to see a bunch of new releases i'm excited for i have a video on that i'll link it in one of these corners i don't know which one it is so these books that i'm going to show you some of them are new releases some aren't some are books i've had for a while and we're just going to get started because i am really excited to talk about some of these books i have my list here on my phone the first book that I am so excited for some of the books by the way I don't own so I'll put a picture up somewhere but the first book is Magnolia Parks Into the Dark this book comes out in like two weeks and I am so excited for it. I pre-ordered it so I can get it like right when it comes out and I genuinely cannot wait. This is the fifth book in the Magnolia Park series. It's basically high society London. It's very similar to Gossip Girl. There's a lot of drama and like cheating and alcohol, drugs, that kind of vibe, but it is so, so good. I am simply obsessed with this series. This is probably my favorite book series in the entire world. The next series that I really wanna get into in 2024 is Throne of Glass by Sarah J Moss. I have no idea what this series is about and I like going into my books blind, but I've heard so many good things and I just really wanna give this series a try. I've said this before, but with Akatar, I listen to the audiobooks and I feel like that ruined my experience a bit so with throne of glass i'm going to force myself to physically read it and not do an audiobook and i'm hoping that i can really enjoy it and i know throne of glass is so many people's like favorite series so i really want to get to it i just don't know when because i am a little intimidated because it's so big and i do not want to tandem read but we'll see what happens the third book I have is very similar, and that's A Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J. Moss. This is the last book in the Akatar series. I still have to read the little novella, but this is the one that like I really want to read by the end of the year. I am making it my goal to finish this. Well, to start it and then to finish this by the end of the year, and it's going to be so nice to get like this series done. The next book I have is Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco. This book looks so good. It's about Jack the Ripper who was a serial killer and a girl who is in love with him despite his wrongdoings, we'll say for lack of better words. But this book sounds so good and honestly, I'm really excited to read it. For some reason, I'm thinking it's a series, but I could be thinking of something different. Let me know if I'm wrong. I think I'm wrong. Ew. This is on the very first page. It's like someone cutting a man open. I hate that. I am really not a big fan of blood and gore and horror. So I'm hoping that's not what this is. Otherwise I know I'm gonna hate it because that stuff just gives me the ick. The next book I have is The Storied Life of AJ Fickery. This is the same author as Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow and I absolutely love that book. I've seen a lot of people really rave about it like Hayley Pham and Destiny so I've really been wanting to read this. I don't really know what it's about. I know it's about a guy and he owns a bookstore and his sales haven't been really good and then he receives a package and he doesn't know who it's from but it kind of gives him the option to like start his life over it seems like. I don't know if that's entirely correct but this book looks so good. And it's just like a fiction book, which when I read the right ones, I end up really liking those. So I'm hoping this is a book that I really enjoy. I definitely want to read it sometime this year. The next book that I really want to read is called Good Material by Dolly Alderton. I read one book by Dolly Alderton and I absolutely loved it. This book, I really just love the cover. I think it's so like fun and colorful. It's about a guy and his girlfriend breaks up with him and it's from the guy's point of view, which I really like because it's a romance book and I feel like those aren't normally told from the guy's point of view. But basically him and his girlfriend break up and he has no idea why and he's like trying to get her back is what it sounds like And it's like fun and funny and like kind of a disaster and it sounds like it's gonna be good And i'm really excited to read this one. I don't even know if it's out yet Okay, it comes out on january 30th. So it's like basically out but this one i'm really excited to read the next Series that I really want to get to in 2024 is the addicted series Kiss the Sky is the book I'm currently on. This is actually my current read. So I'm making progress, but this is like a 10 book series and I'm pretty sure this is the fourth book. So I have a ways to go, but I absolutely love this series. I am devouring it. It is so good. Genuinely, I don't want it to end, but I do want to like find out what happens. I have Hot House Flower, which is the next one after this. So like I'm set for a little bit, which is good. 
The next book I want to read is Mad Honey. I bought this book knowing absolutely nothing of what it was about and I was going to go into it completely blind. I got it because one of my old co-workers absolutely loved it but she said not to read it if like you're in a bad place. So I haven't been reading it because just like mentally I don't know if I can handle it right now. But I read the back of the book and this looks so so good it's about a woman and her husband shows like a bit of his darker side so her and her son move back to her hometown and then he meets this girl and then this girl ends up dead and the son is a suspect in her murder i don't know it looks so good i am really excited to read this the next book i have is ruthless vows i actually ordered this book on amazon and it comes tomorrow i am so excited to read this this is the second book after divine Rise which is a historical fantasy such a different genre from my comfort zone but I absolutely loved the first one gave it five stars and cannot stop thinking about it it was so good it's about a girl and her brother goes to war so she's writing to him with a magical typewriter but someone else is receiving the letters and then she kind of has a bit of a secret admirer and it's just so good I loved it so I can't wait for this to come in the mail and I'll probably start it soon like real soon the next book i have i've been putting it off because i'm so scared to read it and that's a little life this book is 800 pages and i know i want to annotate it and i know it's gonna be so sad like i don't know what this book is about but i kind of know what this book is about this book has basically every single trigger warning under the sun so that tells you a bit what it's about and I am so scared to read this because I know it's going to be so sad but I also really want to read it. I don't know how to describe it. I'm intimidated though but I'm also so excited to read it. We'll see when I get to this one. This is another book that I want to be in a good mental space to read it but also like what's the point if it's going to put me in a bad mental space after anyways? I don't know. We'll see. The next book I have is The Seven Year Slip. I have heard so many people talk about this book and they absolutely love it. I've seen so many people rate this book so highly so I'm so excited to get to it. It's about a girl and she basically has like the worst day of her life and then she has to figure out how to live with it. She moves into her late aunt's apartment and there's like a man in her kitchen and he's seven years from the past and she's seven years into his future. It seems odd but I'm actually really excited to read this just because of how much hype there is around it. So I'm hoping it lives up to that hype because if it doesn't I'm gonna be so disappointed but I really hope this is a good book. The next book that I really want to read in 2024 is Atomic Habits. I also have this book coming on Saturday. This book has won so many awards and so many people talk very highly of it. So I'm excited to read this and hopefully implement some of its content into my daily life and have some Atomic Habits. I don't know. This is just a book that I want to read for like myself. The next book I want to read is Dear Dolly. This is also by Dolly Alderton. She is a columnist and basically this is like a collection of some of her best work and her best advice pieces. It just seems like a fun little book that would be nice to read like a little bit of each day. Nothing like too crazy. I don't feel like it's going to be the best book in the world but it does seem like a fun one to read so I'm really excited to get this and read it. I also just love the covers of her books. They're so pretty. The next book I have is By a Thread. More specifically, I want to read a Lucy Score book in 2024. I have never read a Lucy Score book, which feels so weird to say since I feel like so many of her books are insanely popular. I just have never been drawn towards them because they're so long and I genuinely don't think romance books need to be this long, but this is the only one of hers that I own, so this will probably be the first one that I read. It is about co-workers, so it's a workplace romance and I think they work at a magazine company and it's dual POV too, which I really like in books so I'm excited to get to this one. Okay wait it's not co-workers he's her boss even better. The next book that I really want to read is The Institute by Stephen King. I read my first Stephen King book in 2023 and I really liked it and this is one that looks so interesting. It's about a boy and his parents are murdered in the middle of the night and he is like thrown into the back of a car and then he is transported to this place called The Institute and he has his bedroom and it looks just like his bedroom at home except there's no windows and outside his door is a whole bunch of other bedrooms of other kids who have special powers. This book just sounds so good. The next book I have is The 
The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. This is another book that I have seen everywhere. I feel like I see it all over Amazon and Goodreads and so many people talk about it. And I think it was a book of the month pick. I could be completely wrong on that. But this is about a masquerade ball and Evelyn dies. And she dies every single day until Aiden can figure out who is the killer. So every day he wakes up in a different body of one of the guests at this masquerade ball and he's trying to figure out who killed Evelyn. It just sounds so good and fun and I'm actually really excited to read this book. And then I have Never by Jessa Hastings. This is the same author as Magnolia Parks and this is like a Peter Pan retelling I'm pretty sure. It just looks so beautiful and whimsical and I've seen quotes from this book and it sounds so good. And this is another book where I am obsessed with the cover. This is so so pretty. I want to watch Peter Pan first because I've never seen it. Will I? Realistically, probably not since I cannot sit through a movie for the life of me, but I'm so excited to get to this book. It is absolutely beautiful. The next book I have, I'm so excited to read. I don't own it, but I really want to, and that's the Mindfuck series, and I'm pretty sure this is like, I don't know, five books in one? I don't remember how many books it is. Okay, I have no idea, but this is like a bind up of all the books, and I am so excited to read this one day. It's basically like about a serial killer and an FBI agent, and the FBI agent is trying to track down this serial killer and they fall in love. That sounds so good. I cannot wait to read this. It's gonna be high up on my list. I just need to buy it first. And it's like $30 because it is a bind up of all the books. But for some reason, it just feels like one book to me and it's really difficult to justify spending $30 on one book. But I know it's not just one book. I don't know. I'm gonna have to pull the plug and just do it. The next book I wanna read is the Britney Spears memoir. I forget what it's called. I added it to my Amazon wish list, which is where like all my books are just because it's so much easier for me to keep track of them in one place. The Woman in Me. I really want to read this. I want to read more memoirs in 2024. So if you have recommendations, please list them below because I need help finding memoirs to read. But this one I'm really excited for. And then the next book I have is Friends, Lovers, and the Big Terrible Thing, which is the memoir by Matthew Perry. And I really want to read this, especially now. So honestly, maybe I'll rewatch Friends after reading this. That sounds so fun because I love Friends, but that's another memoir that I really want to read. Next, I have The Housemaid is Watching. This is the third book after The Housemaid and The Housemaid's Secret. It hasn't come out yet, but I think it comes out a little later this year. I love the first two books. They're just so fast paced. I love how there's no unnecessary detail. Everything in the book is important. You don't have all that extra fluff. Like it's just right to the story and I love it. I never know what's gonna happen in those books. I just love Frieda McFadden's writing. So I'm so excited to read this one. Oh my goodness. Then I have Happy Place by Emily Henry. I have been waiting for this book to come out in paperback, but I'm getting sick of waiting. I think I'm gonna just do it. I'm gonna get the hardcover and I'm gonna read this book because Funny Story also comes out in hardcover. So might as well just like start my Emily Henry hardcover collection now because I feel like she's not gonna go back to paperback, which is devastating completely and utterly devastating. I don't honestly know what it's about. Somehow I have managed to void myself of any spoilers and anyone describing the plot. I know it's about exes who pretend they're still together for the sake of their friends because they're going on vacation. Pretty sure that's what the plot is. And then I have Powerless by Lauren Roberts. This is another book I've seen so many people talk about and I have no idea what it's about. I have stayed away from any spoilers because I love going into my books blind. This is a fantasy. That's about all I know. I love the cover. I think this is the author's debut novel, which is always so exciting and it's so so, 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 so highly talked about and raved about. So I hope it lives up to the hype, which I think it will because everything I have seen about this book says it lives up to the hype. And then the very last book I have that I wanna read in 2024 is called In the Lives of Puppets by TJ Klune. This will be my third TJ Klune book. So far, I have loved every book that I've read by him, which again is only two, but I've loved them. This book is about a robot family and there's like a human living with them. And these robots have like a past of hunting humans and they like accidentally alert the robots from their past about like their location and now like no one's safe. And it just sounds so good. Look how cute you are. <laughs> Put your tongue away. 
those are all the books I have for today's video. Go ahead and comment your top book you want to read in 2024 and I can maybe add them to my list because I'm always looking for more books to add to my list. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Anything you do helps me out so much and I really appreciate it and I'll see you guys in my next one.